92.7, 96.9WRV, the Hudson Valley's alternative. It's Val from the Middays. Got to sit down and chat with Jared from Kings of Leon. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Pretty good. It's such an honor to be talking to you. I'm such a huge fan. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Where are we talking to you today? Are you in Nashville or? Yeah, I live just south of Nashville in Franklin. Okay, great. I guess first, we'd like to say congratulations because we know you had a baby like just over a year ago, right? Yeah, yeah, about 16 months ago. So how was that? I mean, going into a pandemic as a new dad? Um, it's crazy. It's a lot more. Uh, I, I'm around a lot more than I expected to be, obviously. Um, we were going to go tour and kind of like navigating that whole band dad lifestyle that I was about to jump into. And then I've been here every single day. <laughs> right? A little bit of a plan B. Oh, yeah. No, but it's, it's, it's amazing. Like, I could not be any more happy. Got to be fun being a girl dad, though, right? Oh, it's the best. It's not. It's amazing. You get all the good with a little bit less pressure. You know, <laughs> she's a little boy, I feel like, would maybe be, like, looking more up to me as, like, a father figure type thing. This, I just get to kind of let mom take the can she takes the captain's seat and i'm just kind of there around helping out as much as i can but it's it's awesome i mean obviously she's little little so she doesn't quite understand what dad does but is she into music like do you guys play music for her she loves music that's awesome. like she won't watch anything if it's not song and music i mean I, that could be normal for all babies but she loves her little instruments and piano oh. all, all those kind of little things um so, yeah, hopefully she can sing better than her dad. Oh, stop. <laughs> to go back to the music side of the house, I mean, I know the pandemic hit, like you guys had mm-hmm. finished the album back in the end of 19, but was the plan to release it sooner than this past year? Yeah, I think single was March 20 um, of okay. 2020. And we were going to do a couple little shows and like underplay shows in March. And one by one, they just started getting canceled. <sighs> and, you know, we didn't know. If it was going to last a month or two months or, you know, at the very beginning, I remember thinking like, oh, this will be over by May. So let's just cancel a few shows in March and April, push the single back. And then by May, it should kind of clear up. And then it could not have been any more wrong. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, we were, yeah, we were kind of like, oh, we'll, we'll put your tickets on hold for that show, but we'll definitely get you. And then we were like, sorry, <laughs> just <laughs> sorry. Yeah, it just never stopped. It was just a series of cancellations. After cancellation, and then um, I think by November, December, we were like, you know what, let's just, like, we have to release this. But, you know, we were really proud of the album, and we had worked so hard on it, and we were, like, not cool with letting it sit on a shelf for possibly years, you know, because at that point, it was the opposite line of thinking. It was like, this might be five years. You know, it could be, we have no idea how long right. it, it was before, you know, things had really started to cool down. And I had read something that you recorded it in Nashville. Um, and I forget who was doing the interview, but somebody was talking about how it, it was a different feel from recording out in L.A. versus recording at home. Yeah, it was huge difference. Um, I mean, L.A. is just awesome. Uh, obviously, everybody you know who goes there loves it. You've got great food and a great scene and great weather, and we all rented houses. Well, uh, the record label rented our houses, but, um, <laughs> you know, we had swimming pools and, you know, it was just like super vibey. Um, and then Nashville, you're just home. It, when you record in Nashville, it feels more like a normal job as opposed to being in L.A. It feels like an entertainment job. Um, okay. But yeah. Because, I mean, you're, you wake up in your own home and you go to work. And we were, you know, like working more probably regimented hours and just 10 hours in the studio. And then you got in your own car and drove back to your own house. You know, it was very like work minded. And we worked, we worked really, really hard for a long time on it. Like almost like having a nine to five job. (laughs) Yeah, except more stressful. (laughs) Now, somebody here in the building um, used to work at a station out in Nashville, and I was talking to him this morning that I was going to be chatting with you guys, and he was like, you have to ask this question, because he actually saw you guys at a restaurant in Nashville once, but where's your favorite spot to get a burger in the Nashville area? 
Wow. Um, <laughs> it's it's a hot debate in Nashville. Our studio that we um, rehearse in, and it, it's in a little part of town called WeHo, and there's a, a burger shop called Gabby's that's, like, really big, like, famous spot, but it's, like, hole in the wall, tiny place. Okay. Um, then there's a place called Emmy Squared, which is a pizza place, which supposedly has a great burger. Um, I would put that in the top three. And then a, a bar inside of a restaurant it's called Gertie's inside of 404. They've got a pretty killer burger, I've heard. All right. We'll, we'll pass that along. Nice. Yeah, you can pass that along. Awesome. Now, obviously, you've got a big tour coming um, with Cold War Kids, which we were very excited to be able to give away some tickets last week. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this, but you're actually going to be the first concert um, at this venue that just opened in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Wow. Yeah, they um they just recently opened up. I think they had like a college graduation, but other than that, you guys will be the first show there. So is there any like pressure or any like, all right, we've got to be the first to do X, Y, or Z? Uh, not necessarily. Um, and I mean, especially when you're kind of like touring and you're, you, you just try to get into a good rhythm and get in that mode and just like pump it out and just try to dial it into where every show gets a little bit better than the one before. And it is a lot of pressure opening up a venue because you can kind of like work through some kinks for them. Oh, true. <laughs> so sometimes we've had, we've opened up venues and people are like, we couldn't hear in section D43. Oh, no. Like, well, you got to tell the next people, sorry, that's not us. I didn't even think uh, of it that way. I was like, will you sign the wall or will you be, will you get a plaque or something? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they should at least let us like put our feet prints and some cement right or something. <laughs> like yeah. hall of fame style outside <laughs> um what can we expect with this tour um fun. fun you know like that's just kind of been we're we're in the very early stages of getting everything together right now and talking set list and stage setup and getting all that together we actually have a meeting on friday about it but we're just, you know, it's been so long, and we've all been kind of so pent up, and not just us in the band, but everybody, you know, all the audience and our crew. And so we just want it to be like a relaxed vibe and just basically just have fun. I mean, the the the, the show setup and the tour setup, it's a lot of like outdoors arenas, it's summertime, it's going to be warm. We just kind of want those vibes to you know, just for people to kind of just let their hair down. Yeah, I think people are just so ready. Like, I know a lot of our listeners are like, I can't stop buying concert tickets. Like, anybody who announces, we're like, we're there, we're there, we're there. They just are so ready for music again. Totally. We are, too. I mean, every single musician friend that I have are just, like, dying to get back out there. You know, and it's been like that for a long time. And there were so many, like, little breaks in the clouds that we thought, you know, it might happen. And then it just closes back up. Um, and now it's really, it's real, you know, we're selling tickets and we could not be any more happy. And it's soon too. It's not like you guys announce like, Oh, we'll be back on the road in 22. It's like, it's happening in a couple months. Totally. Yeah. We got to start rehearsing. It's very nerve wracking. Oh my gosh. So um, here at the radio station, I host a throwback show during the noon hour. We used to call it the 90s at noon. And we tried to re-image it a little bit. And we were like, let's expand it a little bit more. So now we're 90s and 2000s. And I was putting together a playlist. And I was like, how is it possible that Kings of Leon is now on my throwback list? Like how, oh, like for, for me as someone who's worked in this industry for a while and, and when, when your songs came out, I was like, man, this is good stuff. Like, this is so cool. And now it's on the throwback <laughs> list. You guys have been around a while and you were yeah, super we're young. Totally. So how does yeah, that feel? I, I, it feels weird. Um, yeah, I, I started playing with the band when I was 15 Wild. and now, now I'm 34 so it's been over half my life I've been in the band. I've, I've been in the band for longer than I have it, which is super, super weird. It's the only job I've ever had. Oh, my God. I've never been fired in my <laughs> life. Came close a few times. Wow. I mean, and obviously it's a it's a family establishment. Do you guys ever get tired of each other? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, not really. We. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you get as tired of each other. 
as any other coworker. Um, but no, we're we've done it for so long. We have it to such a science now that like we know when to give space and when to take space and just kind of we enjoy each other's company a ton now. We golf last Friday together. And I think we're golfing again this Friday, so we're not that sick of each other. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Maybe once you hit the road. Yeah, totally. Or once they beat me in golf. <laughs> are you a good golfer? Or are you amateur? Like, what's your golfing level? I'm terrible, but I'm I'm going to be good. Okay. So, like, the other guys have started. They, they've been playing for a lot longer than I have, but I just kind of started picking it up, and I'm getting lessons, and I'm holding myself. I, I'm not trying to sound cocky but if i tell people in public that i'm going to be good then it kind of it, it holds me to it so i'll have no choice but to uh get better at it that's awesome i guess my last my last question will be when you see yourself is is there a tune on the album that's like your this is going to be our next big big hit or one that like hits a personal note um it's hard to say. I'm so bad at guessing. Okay. And at this point, I, I don't even know if we're ever going to have another big hit. There, there are so many, like, ones that I think, like, ah, oh, that could be. And then it doesn't. And then other ones that I'm like, meh, that, like, I don't even think that should be a single. And then it has a really good single life. Um, so they shouldn't. Maybe they should ask me. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I, I like a lot of them on the album. We didn't really think about singles and we probably should have okay like, the average song on the album is like four and a half five minutes long which obviously is terrible for radio and we just didn't think about it or didn't change anything and kind of just left things as is but i thought time in disguise might be a single but who knows i thought stormy weather might but <laughs> there's a lot of time left we haven't even started touring yet so maybe we'll get a couple more singles out there plenty of time um jared thank you so so much for chatting with us today this like i mentioned at the beginning is such an honor uh such a big fan of you guys and i'm so excited to catch you when you come to the area uh later this summer yeah we can't wait either thank you so much for having me on thank you